I don't know. I know, right? What? It's just like, you know what I mean? No, I don't. Oh my god, you don't even know. You're right. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, okay. That's it. End of story. Great. Bye. Hey man, what's your problem? What's my problem? I don't like the way that you're talking to me. But I don't really mind what you're saying. My back will be turned to the words that you speak until you find a way to properly convey them. I don't like the way that you're talking to me, but I don't really mind what you say. Back turn to the words that you speak until you find a way to properly convey them. People! The way that you talk is often so very embarrassing, it's time that it stopped. Our generation sounds like a bunch of dumb kids who grew up but still talk like a bunch of dumb kids. It's time that we unite, it's due time that we fight the deterioration of our communication tonight. Call upon us all to stand tall in our hearts and stop talking like morons. Here's where we start. When typing email, please be aware that there are three different forms of the word pronounced there. And if you dare misuse one in a letter, beware. I will delete you from my friends list like I just don't care. The first is spelled T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. It's a contraction of the noun they and the verb are you see. T-H-E-I-R is a possessive pronoun when you want to say that they possess it or it belongs to them. And T-H-E-R-E is an adverb with direction, which oftentimes is used to modify a preposition. With practice, you can learn to use all three in a sentence. For example, they're in there with their bear. There, I said it. The thing I hate most that gets me so pissed are people, adults, who talk like this, like everything's a question, with such indecision. You sound like a little kid. Speak with some conviction. And speaking of questions, you need to announce one by stating the word first before you pop out. One. Cause when you say, question, what is the story? I'll reply, answer, that is annoying. And like, please don't like, overuse the word like, unless you're like, and like, talking about your new bike. Like is an adverb, it's used to compare things. But when you say like so much, you sound like a prom queen. You know what I mean, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, stop asking me that, I'll stop and ask if need be. And please don't reply with, that's what I'm talking about. When I'm talking, cause actually, that's what I'm talking about. Please refrain from typing messages in all caps. Please cease abbreviating happening to haps. Stop with the fake words like guesstimates and factoids. And never use more than one exclamation point. Enough with the quote fingers, I get it. The tone of your voice and your choice of expression alone should suffice to imply that you're being sarcastic. You're only slowing down a boring story with a hand trick. And you've gotta stop using the word gay. The way you describe a dislike. Like when you say, that's such a gay car. The song is so gay. Are you in middle school, you little fool? At your age, okay? Enunciate, articulate, and say what you mean. And speak up so I can hear you, but you don't need to scream. Don't talk with your mouth full and don't interrupt me And if you say, end of story, then I will leave abruptly All of these lazy and unnecessary phrases Make it seem so very dated almost as we're half our ages Try to make a change and maybe then in the end We can be friends But until then I don't like the way that you're talking to me But I don't really mind what you're saying My back will be turned to the words that you speak Until you find a way to properly convey it I don't like the way that you're talking to me But I don't really mind what you say Back turn to the words that you speak Until you find a way to properly convey